Today's video is going to be out which muff works best for your Yamaha outboard. Um, when I first got this Yamaha, I uh, was using uh, one of these muffs. I won't tell you which one until later, of course. And um, I could barely get water to flow uh, through it. So I invested in a few different muffs. And what I hope to do is find out which muffs work best with these Yamaha outboards. I don't know if the new one's like that, but at least this mid-90s one uh, definitely has a very, very thin lower unit or skinny lower unit. Um, and um, here we go. These are the muffs I've tried. And let's see which one works best. All right, I'm going to start with the uh, super duper dual sided, most expensive one of the bunch, and you'll be surprised at the results. But I am going to show you something that you should look for uh, before you start the engine. It's actually pretty telling. And uh, let me get this on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've got that one on and um, looks pretty good, right? It's got this uh, great two-sided hose, two-sided entry. I'm going to turn the water on. We're actually getting a little bit of a stream out of here. I don't know if you can see it, um, which is a good sign. That means water's getting in there and holding on. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. So that one did surprisingly good. I say surprisingly because in my experience in the past, um, this one hasn't done that well on Yamaha engines, but for whatever reason today, this one just wanted to outperform. So I'm actually quite impressed with this one. So let's uh, go on with the testing and see, uh, and see how the other ones do. Uh, this one, like the first one, has the uh, rectangular muffs. Um, I've gotten a lot of use out of this one. I use it on um, all the old uh, Mercs and Johnsons that I've gone through. But let's give this one a shot. Let's put it on and see what we get. All right, I'm going to turn the water on. You really got to squeeze it before you get any water. So let's start it up and see what we get. Alright, I'm not going to run the engine very long on that one because quite frankly I was getting umgots, nothing was coming through that engine. So um, obviously that's not a winner. Alright, so this one. You know, this has been Old Faithful. I've almost wore the threads out on this one. It's worked great on Johnson's and uh, Evan Runes that I've had. Um, but as far as the Yamaha, don't even bother man. This thing is not going to work on the Yamaha. You're going to put your engine at risk. Sorry to whoever makes this, but uh, I, I just, I, I can't trust it. And this has been consistent. Every time I've tried to use this, I've had to stick a clamp on it just to get it to, to dribble a little bit. So, no, not a go. But let's try the, uh, the last and uh, probably the least expensive. Let's give that one a shot and uh, see what, how it works. So here's the guy we're going to try next. Uh, very simple. Uh, round muff um, looks like mushroom I guess whatever you want to call it I'm gonna get that guy on there 
Let me put it on. Right, I'm going to turn it on. Now the first thing you'll notice, I'm getting a really good, good stream there. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and start it. So there you go, we've got three of them. One of them was an outright failure. That was the one I originally had for this motor and it was kind of a piece of crap. Um, this little guy did surprisingly well. He um, he got water in the system, he pushed it through, uh, got enough flow through it to do whatever it is you need to do, whether it's just flushing the engine or you're doing some work. So um, this guy's not a bad choice. All right, so who's the winner in this muff, the muff out, if you will? <laughs> Sounds messed up. Um, well, we already know what this guy is, which is a no-go. Unless it's an emergency, uh, just toss that one. It's, that's crap. Uh, this one's a second runner-up, uh, which surprised me. I actually thought this one would do better in the, in the contest. Don't ask me why, based on some experience and what I've seen. Um, but it clearly did okay. You can use this one. But the clear winner was definitely this guy. And um, you know, I think in large part, it's got this flexible hose so that when it sits on the uh, lower unit, um, it could just hang there. Uh, one of the problems I have with these types is when you get the hose in, it tends to twist it and uh, let water out. But that's not really an issue with this one. So um, I got to say, this guy's the clear winner. Definitely a clear winner. This guy's the runner-up. So I hope this helps because I know when I first got a Yamaha outboard, it was a mystery as to why I couldn't get water to flow through it. And uh, mostly it's because I was using that rectangular one. And um, after playing around with a few different muffs, I found out which ones work best. Uh, which one works almost best, but not quite and um, I was able to get over that problem. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit like, share and um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thanks for watching.